Hello my lovelies! Today we are doing another double bun. It's called the dyad because that means two and it sounds fancier than double bun. <laughs> Thank you thesaurus.com. Um, you guys, I love thesaurus. Any hoodles, uh, it's another double bun. I actually wanted it to be a triple bun but when I went through the run through yesterday it looked terrible. My hair is too long, my buns are too big, it didn't work as a triple. Uh, my buns take up too much room on my head. And when we got into the... Mm, needless to say, it's a double instead of a triple. Uh, you do know how, need to know how to lace braid for this one. Although, most of you can lace braid now. Ha ha! Um, the one really good thing about that 30 days of hairstyles is many of you have learned to French, Dutch, or lace, or at least come up with something that's similar. Um, so yeah, we need to lace braid today. Uh, many of you, your lace braiding you love, even if you still hate a French braid, which is totally okay. Thus, we're lace braiding. <laughs> I listen. I listen and pay attention to y'all. Um, the only things we need are two hair, clear hair ties and some bobs. B.O.B.s, big old bobbies. Um, the curler pins, the big ones. The bobs. Um, Yes, why not use Amish pins today? The bobs actually hold it better. True facts. So, we need to um, do a diagonal part. Um, so, I, I always start with the arch, or where my arch should be. We all know my eyebrows are a little jacked. Uh, so, I'm going to start there, and I'm going to go kind of straight back, and then slightly cantilever it over to the side and hopefully this will be an even amount on both sides let's see almost very nearly uh, this one might be slightly smaller but that's okay I'm just gonna go with it um, I just I'm one of those people that most of my hair is apparently right on top of my head and I have less at the bottom it's, it's the way of things um, okay so what I'm gonna do is do two Dutch braids. Uh, we are going, hold up, let me just make this, okay. We're going to take from the front on both of these. I'm gonna tie this one off, get it out of the way so it's not all in here, mucking up our works and we know how this goes. So we're gonna do Dutch braids. We're gonna do one on this side, do one on the other side, and then we're gonna bun them. Uh, but we are going to bun them pretty, as it were. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Dutch, Dutch. Now, I am going to end up switching up my handholds a little bit, uh, because when I first start this, I want it to come this way. Um, usually when I do braids, I start this way, but then everything goes back, and I actually want this to come down first. So I'll get you started. I'm um, going to try and get my bangs in there. If they don't want to cooperate, I'll just pin them in and spray them later. But I'm going to start with about this much hair. Um, and I am doing these uh, Dutch lace instead of French lace. If you want to French lace, then French lace. It's, you know, you do the kind you want. So we're going to start. Um, you know, I don't usually braid in the mirror, but I do when it's stuff in the front, just so I can make sure things are smooth so we want to always add to the front section um, and all of this hair is going to end up in this braid so you take whatever size sections you want I know a lot of you prefer to take uh, wee tiny small sections so do that if you want um, I take mine a little a little larger just because it's me and that's the way I am uh, because we are doing this lace style, it will curve, which we want it to. Um, always. We always want the curve because that's going to help. Um, it'll help our buns curve the way we want them to. And I just grabbed a whole bunch of hair I should have. Because I was talking to you and not paying attention to what I was doing. <laughs> this, this happens. This happens sometimes. All right. Um... I'm going to finish this um, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side again taking only from the front this one will curve 
this way and this one will curve this way. Um, so yeah, once we're braided, I'll be back and I'll show you the next step, uh, which is the bunning and the finish. This one's fast, um, except for the braiding. Okay, back in a sec. Wait, Torin, you said you were gonna change your handholds and you abandoned us. Sorry, the brain. Um, so thus far I've been braiding this way. So now I need to switch. So I'll show you how to switch. I won't abandon you, I promise. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything in the one hand, but like I said, I want this to continue in this direction and we're gonna get like a weird sag if we keep doing this. So we're gonna switch. Um, so just take your opposite hand of whichever one you started with and gently switch up your grip <laughs> as such. All right, excellent. So we are now, let me check and make sure where I am. Do, 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 do. Okay, where am I? This one, this one goes next. And now we add <laughs> to this as such. There we go, that's it. That's, that's how we, we, you just need the one of the few times I will actually tell you to look in a mirror so you can make sure where you are. Um, unless perhaps your brain actually works better than mine, which it probably does, quite frankly. All right, let's feel my section. Okay, so what I have left, I'm, I need to split in two um, so that my sections will be even. Um, it doesn't really matter if your sections are completely even, uh, but it is, it is helpful if they are, um, but they doesn't have, they don't have to be totally even. Um, all right, are we done? Yeah, last section. Okay, now I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Go do your, I don't know, go do your braiding and then come back. Alright, back and ready dolls were all braided. So I neglected to tell you because mm, um, so this one, you know we started braiding this way, switched. Yes, it was seconds ago. Yes. Um, <laughs> this one I braided all this way. Um, why? Okay, so this is how our braids go. So you see that this one is higher than this one because we're doing our braids catty corner like this. So not vertical, we're going a little to the side so you see how the braids end. One is higher, one is lower. Yay! All right, let's bun. So, <laughs> usually I would tell you to do the bottom bun first, but we're actually gonna do the top bun first. <gasps> yeah, I know. Um, why the bottom bun? So you know you have space, but I, I know there's gonna be space because I already practice this one. Also, our braids, as you see, this one is slightly smaller than this one. Not too bad. I actually did a much better job than I did yesterday, but still. Okay, so we're going to wind these up. How you wind them up is truly up to you. You can just make it a Cinnabon. You can do uh, the flower uh, roll if you want. I'm going to do the ram roll, as I call it. <laughs> I don't, it just reminds me of a ram horn. Uh, what do I mean? So regular Cinnabon, you know you start in the center and then work your way out. The flower roll, you do it on its side like this so you get petals, right? This one we're gonna do the ram roll. I just need to make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, so the ram roll is, uh, I'm not gonna worry about the tail, we're just gonna tuck it underneath. It's like this and you roll it up um, not flat like a flower but round so it looks like a ram horn you guys know what I'm talking about um, I explained this before and somebody didn't get it let me get some more rolled up so you can see <laughs> um, yeah see yeah so it's not a flower it's a ram horn um, in my head to me, it's a ram roll. That's my terminology. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. That is just what I'm calling it. Um, all right. Make sure you keep it nice and tight. And then bring it up and put it right over here. Let me make sure that my end isn't sticking out. It should tuck underneath. 
It is sticking out. Make sure I got my shape right. Got to clean this mirror. It's got hairspray on it. I can't see all that well. Where's my end? There it is. All right, see, here's my end, right? We just got to tuck it up underneath our bun so it doesn't stick out. And then I'm going to twirl just a tiny bit more to make it nice and tight. And then we'll pin. This is what we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Um, yeah. Now, like I said, if you want this to look like two flowers, then do the flower roll. Um, so you've got petals. Um, and if you just want to do a cinnabon because it's faster, then do cinnabons. It's what you want. It will look different depending on how you roll it up. Um, I wanted to do ram rolls because I just kind of like them. Uh, for reasons. Yeah. Cool. Um, ram rolls kind of look more like lollipops. In my head. Uh, so same thing on the other side. I'm, I'm a little weird today, guys. I apologize. Um, yeah. I'm going to roll it up the same way. And then pin it down as well. Um, I guess we could have called this like the lollipop roll, which sounds sweeter, but it's a ram horn, you guys. It will always be like a ram horn. We did these when we did um, Anora's buns. Remember our Dragon Age hairstyle? I rather liked it. All right, let me make sure that we're where we should be. And since we did the lace braids, they should torque right down nice and tight. Um, let me see. There we go. I'm going to make sure we're catty cornered the way I want to be. Tuck our ends. Make sure your ends are all tucked in and not sticking out all crazy. Which is basically just shove them up underneath there. Dee, 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 dee. And pin. Now, you can probably use Amish pins, but... Uh, I think these ones work better uh, when I find Amish pins look work really well with the Cinna or a flower roll but um, for the ram roll I think the, uh, the the bobs the big old bobs work best um, that's just my experience um, you know what pins your hair likes and listens to listens to uh, which one it rea which ones they react to a little better um, the other nice thing about this style is that it is extremely sturdy so let me see how we look yay yeah there you go I like it you do get I did my high you know I always do my stuff high um, if you don't want it up so high then don't do it if we're like this you can't see it from the front but you know I like that kind of thing in the front um, I think it looks pretty from the side too yay because um, you've got a bun and then as you turn oh, there's another bun I don't know something different well dispersed though double buns are always well dispersed all your hair isn't concentrated in one spot it's concentrated in two spots Woo! yeah I don't know the dyad I think it's pretty. I know Christy will like this because it starts with the lace in front. She loves the Dutch lace. Um, but I think it is pretty from the front uh, because you do have interest. And then it's pretty from both sides. I think it's pretty. And it's a pretty workaday hairstyle. Um, it's done. It's up. It's neat for work or what have you. Or if you just want to, you know, go do things. It's not moving. It's comfortable. Mm. Um, and this is one that I think you guys will actually do. Uh, I've been trying to do more of those lately. And I was totally right. Um, some of you have even informed me that I was right. Uh, and I know I'm right because when I check Insta, you guys do the hairstyles that are more practical, as it were. Um, I mean, sure, some of you still do the really cool fantasy styles. But you really like the practical styles which is awesome. It's just me coming up with new and creative ways to be practical. Cr 
creatively practical. I don't know, uh, should we decorate it or should we leave it alone? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of it not decorated and then I'll throw one in of it decorated because we know I love decorations. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just leave it and let it speak for itself and not over decorate things. Um, because sometimes I get real crazy with my decorations and then we can't see the forest for the trees because I could shove so much stuff in there. Any hoodles, that sounds good. We'll do that. We are not going to decorate. I might put some sparkly bobs in the middle of those twirls though. I can't help it. Um, any hoodles, that's it. I'm going to put my mushrooms in. I love these earrings. They're simple, but you know, Mario mushrooms make me happy. Any hoodles, that's all for me today. I'm just rambling now. Rambling. Me? Never. All right, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Skyrim tomorrow. Woo. And then, you know, Friday, whatever happens on Friday, which we never know what that's gonna be. Okay, until then, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.